Hello, my name is Spruce, and this is the weekly gaming news. Firstly, we just got the announcement from Traveller's Tales that a new Crash Bandicoot game is in the works. The game is labelled as the fourth game in the series, despite the numerous titles released after the PlayStation 1 trilogy. Crash Bandicoot 4 is set straight after Wrath of Cortex and, judging by the trailer, Crash is returning to its roots with classic game mechanics. In a previous video, I featured Crash of the Titans as the gaming spotlight, so you know I like my Crash games. Crash Bandicoot 4 releases on October 2nd, 2020 for Xbox One and PS4. Next, let's see what's happening around the massively popular Super Smash Bros game for Nintendo Switch. A new character has been announced, being Min Min from ARMS. I'm super psyched about this news because Min Min was actually my favourite character for ARMS. Now the question is whether we will see more ARMS characters coming to Super Smash Bros. It's always exciting when a new character comes to this game because of how in-depth they go to make each character special. There are dozens of unique moves for every character in the game. On the topic of Smash Bros, Nintendo have announced two new amiibo figures, being Joker from Persona and the Hero from Dragon's Quest XI. Coming from a galaxy far far away is Star Wars Squadrons, a whole new Star Wars game from EA set entirely in outer space. The game includes a campaign and multiplayer modes, as well as full virtual reality support on the PSVR. When playing, you are locked in a cockpit view, making the experience that more immersive. A lot of Star Wars fans have dreamed of getting a proper dogfight space game, so now it's finally happening, we just can't wait to play it. Only a couple of weeks ago, we got the announcement that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater would make a comeback. Well now, a new challenger has emerged for the first time in a decade being Skate 4. Skate 4 releases in 2022 for the next generation of consoles and is being developed by Electronic Arts. With two skateboarding franchises making a comeback so close to each other, which one are you most interested in? Now for some more upsetting news. Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed once again and is scheduled to release on November 17th rather than the September date previously promised. It feels like this game has been delayed constantly since its reveal all the way back in 2012. Due to its launch being so close to the release of PS5 and Series X, I doubt I'll be buying this game on PS4 when it releases, and hold out for the eventual port to the next gen systems. I really hope this game doesn't do a Duke Nukem forever considering development began almost a decade ago. In last week's PlayStation 5 event, we got to see Bug Snacks, a cute style game where food is alive. Yep, it's as weird as it sounds. Up until now, we had little information on what the game was actually about. Well, the developers of the game have given some explanation in a recent interview, and say the game is a first-person adventure game from the perspective of a human explorer, where essentially your job is to document each of the unique creatures you discover on this fantastical island. The president of Young Horses, Philip Tibitoski, states Aperscape was a big inspiration for this project. Old school gamers may remember Pokemon Snap for Nintendo 64. Well, it turns out that a sequel is not far off on the horizon. The new game is being developed by Bandai Namco and includes hundreds of Pokemon, now in high definition. There's no release date for this game yet, but I would guess that it will be announced at Pokemon Presents next month. New Pokemon Snap will be exclusive for Nintendo Switch. And that's all the stories for this week. There wasn't an abundance of news, but enough to put a video together. 
Now, for this week's gaming spotlight, we have Tales from the Borderlands, an interactive sci-fi adventure created by Telltale Games. If you're a Borderlands fan, it's a no-brainer to play this game. And even if you aren't, like me, you can still enjoy the excellent storytelling only Telltale can achieve. Tales from the Borderlands released in 2014 for Xbox 360 and PS3. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe. Tune in next week for more gaming news.